Gengo, uh, we provide crowdsourced human translation. Uh, we have about 15,000 translators all around the world from basically about 114 different countries. In order to become a Gengo translator, it's very difficult. Those tests are really hard, and so only about 5% uh, actually pass. Uh, Gengo was first founded in Tokyo, Japan, uh, and we now have an office in San Mateo, California. We also have employees uh, in the Philippines, uh, we have an individual in Brazil, and we also have a couple members uh, in Europe. As we grew uh, and moved uh, from office to office, but also expanded um, offices, uh, as I mentioned, in, in the U.S., uh, but also having members around the world, became more challenging to share information um, particularly large files uh, or sensitive information. We were either doing things by email or sharing through chat programs and we even set up our own internal server uh, to store some of the larger files. We were concerned about a couple issues. One of them was um, just access uh, remotely but uh, also um, security access. Uh, and so Dropbox for Business, um, it, was, uh, it was an obvious uh, choice to, to turn on. With these improvements uh, in, in our company operations and efficiency, I'd estimate maybe uh, we've improved upwards of 40% uh, in terms of how much time, um, re reduction in time uh, spent trying to coordinate um, information. Inefficiencies have, uh, have gone away, uh, and so we're able to, to move a lot faster now. Marketing team at Gengo heavily relies on Dropbox because we have so many documents that need to be organized and stored. We have contents like campaigns, interview briefings, uh, as well as fundraising press releases that are very confidential um, as well as high volume. At Gengo, we organize folders by using numbers like 00 or 01 in front of the actual title. Um, and we also use the young numbers to prioritize each folders. We also do not save um, any files directly to the root director. Um, instead, we only uh, save folders, so we have a better sense of um, organization. Dropbox has a great sense of visibility, so anyone can easily find any documents. I'm a developer at Gengo, and I work mainly on the Translator Workbench, which is a UI for translators. I mean, in my daily workflow, I use Dropbox a lot with the designers. So the designer would update a design or upload some image, and I would instantly know it from the notifications. So compared to using emails or like standard ways, it's really like easy to find the latest version and know exactly where it is. Then comparing like looking inside the email, so trying to find where the latest version is or who sent it or who did what. And the other thing was really actually amazing is that you can go and dive into the history. So you can, for example, if you lost a file or you like someone deleted it or you need an older version, you can just go and grab the old file and just like forget about like taking back up or anything. So that's like really amazing. As a sales rep, I'm always on the go to meet my clients. Um, it's important that I can access to all the data, even outside the office. What's the valuable about Dropbox is that it can be accessed anytime, anywhere, and from any tablet. Dropbox offers an advanced feature that enables us to effectively protect our assets. We can easily give assets the specific folders, manage and control the visibilities. And we use these features especially for departments like finance and HR, where they manage confidential information. Communication among departments became much easier and accurate. Dropbox is almost like a bridge between each department. So one of the things that was important for us uh, in choosing um, Dropbox uh, is the fact that it's actually quite well known uh, globally. I actually ended up going on uh, quite a few business trips and I was rather uh, concerned if my computer was ever stolen or if it would break or something that I wouldn't have access to my content. But with Dropbox, I can know that as long as I have an internet connection, I'll always have access to the files uh, that I need. Uh, and so that concern uh, when traveling or when uh, wherever I am um, has gone away.